So we, you know, see a lot of patients with teeth grinding and particularly the last couple of years with COVID and everyone's been a bit stressed, we've seen a real epidemic of teeth grinding. So you can use anti-wrinkle injections in that area. There's a big muscle at the corner of the angle of your jaw called the masseter muscle. And that's the main muscle that you use when you're chewing and it's all the muscle, also the muscle that you clench when you're grinding your teeth. So patients come and see us and they're either grinding their teeth and having dental problems or they're suffering from headache, um, which is a common side effect. So if you um, do anti-wrinkle injections into the masseter muscle and you relax it, it reduces teeth grinding and it reduces any of the pain in your jaw or the headache that you get associated with it. It can last reasonably long periods of time. When we do cosmetic anti-wrinkle injections, they last three and a half to four months. But when you do anti-wrinkle injections for these more functional problems, they last anywhere from four to six months. So generally last a little bit longer. But when we're treating the masseter muscle, we, we tend to use a slightly more conservative dose initially to see the effect on the patient. And if they've only having a partial effect, then we might follow that up you know, a few weeks later with a slightly bigger dose. So we tend to taper the dose up depending on their response. The positive effect of it is that usually it does stop the patient grinding their teeth. And if that's the primary problem, it's very effective. One of the downsides is that a lot of the, the pain that you can get in the um, joint, the temporomandibular joint that's associated with that, or even headache that you might get associated with teeth grinding, it's usually improved by a masseter injection, but it may not relieve it completely. So there might be some other factors at play that need to be taken into consideration, but uh, for, for pure teeth grinding, it's very effective. In younger patients, if you reduce the size of their masseter muscle, which is what happens when you inject it with an anti-wrinkle product, it usually will make their face actually look a little bit slimmer. And a lot of patients like that, particularly if they've got a very round face or they've got a bit of a square jawline, it actually gives them a more oval shaped face. In an older patient, if you reduce the size or the bulk of the masseter muscle too quickly, you can potentially cause a little bit of sagging of the skin along the jawline. And that's why we would normally be quite conservative in an older patient and reduce uh, the bulk of the muscle slowly over time rather than put a big dose in there at the start. There's no long-term teeth problems with masseter muscle injections. In fact, you often improve a lot of teeth problems. Patients who are grinding might be wearing down their teeth or breaking their teeth. There is a school of thought though that if you relax the masseter muscle too much, you can actually reduce the bulk of the bone in that area. So again, that's another reason why we're reasonably conservative with these treatments. You do need to do a, a reasonably deep injection when you inject the masseter muscle. It's quite bulky. Um, so we, we tend to use slightly longer needles when we do the injection, but usually in terms of pain relief, all you need is an ice pack before you do the treatment um, and it, it's very well tolerated. It's not particularly painful. Those areas in the lower face that we use anti-wrinkle injections on are what's known as off-label areas. So the approved areas for anti-wrinkle injections are in the upper face. So we usually suggest that people have about six months of experience of injecting the upper face before they start to do some of these off-label uh, indications. But the beauty of treating the masseter muscle is you can see it and you can feel it. I mean, you can actually feel it between your fingers. So it's actually a relatively easy muscle to get your toxin in the right place.